Okay guys, so in this tutorial, I'm going to share with you on how to calculate taxes on employee salary in your Microsoft Access database. My name is Akko Smiler and this tutorial is brought to you by Datatex. If you have not subscribed to this channel, a newbie of course, kindly subscribe to this channel and then also turn on the bell notification icon so that useful Microsoft Access database tutorials and then Microsoft Access tips that are shared on this channel, you will always receive updates. Okay, I have already uploaded two tutorials on employee salaries or payroll databases. If you've not watched them, kindly check the Microsoft Access playlist and watch them out and I believe strongly it is going to impact you. Okay, so now we have employee salary and then also we've been given uh, the salary range and then percentage tax. So how do we calculate the taxes on their basic salary using this particular or these ranges that we have over here? That is the theme for today's tutorial. So guys without no much we do let us open the basic table that i have obtained over here so this table contains first name basic pay allowance and allowance too now the task is that we are going to take the basic salary and compare it to this range and then apply the taxes that we have the tax percentages that we have over here to obtain the tax amount okay so now we proceed further we close this table now we go to create query design this is the only table we we'll double click to add. So let us add, I'll double click every attribute here to add. So all the fields have been added. Now, this is just a simple SQL query that returns all the columns that we, columns and records that we have. So if we should run, you will see that it actually has all the columns and records. So we right click, we select save. Now we say salaries extended. Okay, now the tax is to add an additional column that will contain the tax amount based on the range. So we go to design view. Now we right click here, we go to build. So now, now that we have the build, let me minimize this a bit. So now we start by uh, typing the name of this very new column. So we say tax amount. So I'll say tax amount or let's make it so short so tax amt okay now we proceed with the if statement so we say if so if the basic pay so if the basic pay so although the basic pay over here uh per uh, a community member suggestion right under one of the tutorials the person actually gave me this value so very shout out to you now i am not going to consider this lower limit because i don't have correct salary values entered so but then i want all intervals to be captured so I'm, instead of this range i'm going to use less than or equal to so i'm going to use less than or equal to okay so now let's make it less than okay so now we are going to say if basic pay is less than 4501 then the value there should be zero comma now we next if statement another if statement inside we say if so if the basic pay this time around if it is greater than if it is greater than or equal to the value we have here which is four five zero one then end now this end is actually you can use you know microsoft access as far as you're using SQL, it is case insensitive. So feel free to use lowercase capital letters. You can blend all of them. But to make it so clear, that's why I've actually uh, bolded this end logical operator. Sorry, I have used upper cases for it. So sorry. Okay, so now, and if it is greater than this value, and it's less than 4800, so and basic pay is less than four eight zero zero then what should be the value so it is supposed to be 25 percent so it's supposed to be 25 percent so now 25 percent to bring the brackets we say 25 divided by 100 times the basic pay so that will be the amount so comma now if again so if basic pay if it is greater than so if it is greater than or equal to 4800 and again and basic pay so let's see this limit too 
So it's less than 6900 and basic pay is less than 6900. Then the tax amount should be 30%. So in that case, we say 30 divided by 100 times your basic pay. Okay, so last but not least, we are not, we know that if definitely because of the expressions and the intervals we've actually used, a value entered in basic salary is supposed to fall within one of these expressions only. So if it doesn't satisfy any of these, then definitely, obviously, it's going to be the last one. So now here, after the comma, you simply do the calculation. You say 37.5 divided by 100. So times your basic salary or your basic pay. Okay, by that workload. Okay, now that we are done, you close with closing parentheses equaling the number of opening parentheses. So, it, so second, thirdly. So we are done. Now, let me select everything so that in case anything happens, we'll come back to it here. Okay, so guys, we are done. Let us run this. Okay, so now this is what we are having over here. So you can see that this basic salary it is less than 1,500. So it is zero per what we actually have in here. It is actually zero. So now this one 9,000 and they said it's 3,375. So let's come here. If it is 9,000, where will it fall? So 9,000 will actually fall here. So 37.5%. So assuming we change this one to 4502. Now you can see that it is just 1125. So in that case, it means that this particular it is 25 percentage. Okay, so now let us see this one. It is if it is 3000, what would be the value? So for instance, if it is 3900, so it will be zero. But then if it is 5000, then it will be 1500. In that case, 5000 is also going to for within here so now let's say we add a different person so let's say let's say kuma mark so let's say it's a600 so it has been calculated so the tax is actually 3251 so this will be the tax okay so now that you actually have this it means that you have to calculate your gross and then your net salary so let us go so design view now gross salary so we say gross so gross salary now gross salary is going to be basic pay plus allowance one plus allowance two so basically gross is addition of all your credits or your earnings so we run now so now that we have this, the net salary, so build, so let's say net. Now net salary is going to be your gross salary. So net salary is going to be gross salary. So I'll put it in square brackets, gross salary. So gross salary minus this very column here, tax amount, if that is a, a house, if, and only if that is the only deduction. But in the case that you have had a deduction, then so you see tax a so tax a m t so if there are other deductions then once you have the minus you close this then you bring plus again but make sure you will in that case you will close all the deduction fields in round brackets this time around we have only one so now gross minus tax amounts we are done okay so let's check the formats here the formats we are going to format it to so let's say currency okay now we run okay guys so now here basic pay is this allowance gross is 2000 and tax is zero so person goes home with 2000 so with this particular uh person for the month tax amounts to this and then so this will add up and gross salary will be 4801 but this amount subtract the person is going home with this amount. So with 4500 gross is 5,002, 5,020, but the person, because it isn't a zero, the person goes home with this. 
So if you should update the values here, then it means that the salary will also be calculated for you neatly. So now you feel free to uh, update this particular query or the table. Whatever changes you make here will still reflect in the queries. And now your tax calculation is perhaps going to be calculated for you automatically and so easily. I believe this video has been very much impacting. Why don't you give me a thumbs up? And then also if you have any questions or a suggestion, kindly feel free to put it in the comment box and I will attend to it. This is a community. We are all learning database development. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.